we're going to play Who's Down with J.R. Jackson. That's right. Get ready. Buckle up. It's coming. J.R., um, I guess we've got to explain to the folks uh, what this game is again, yeah, right? It takes a while between each one because it's very depressing to hear what you guys say. Mm -hmm. So I have to get over, you know, a little bit of a couple of issues. I'm like, I work with these people every day and I have to do this. But um, so <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, we do the pop culture hour. I mean, what, what are we calling it again? Let's not say. Um, but we're, we're doing this, we always do the stories, you know, Britney Spears, Lindsay Lohan, all these folks that, you know, what about my people? Yeah. We, we need to keep up to date on what's going on with my people. So I'm going to ask you guys three questions, see if you guys know what's going on with black folks in pop culture. Uh-oh. How, uh -oh. how about okay. that? Okay. We better get that? to it, isn't it? And um, who has a commanding lead? Anna Kasparian has the commanding lead. That's right. I, ha I have to confess, guilty as charged, uh, Anna, uh, Master Casper, is dominating me in this game lately. You ain't messing with my Dougie. <laughs> <laughs> and, she, and she says stuff like that, man. Uh, how am I losing? And every time she, she does this, and then it just makes you look worse. I know. She's got to, you, you got to deduct points for that. It's, it's not right. Okay. All right. What's the first question? Okay. Uh, question number one. Who said that black women need to get with the program and start dating outside of their race? Oh. Was that Beyonce, Regina King, Queen Latifah, or Tyra Banks? Hmm. Black women oh. need to give up the program and start dating outside their race. That's you know. fascinating. Okay, give us choices one last time. Beyonce, Regina King, Queen Latifah, or Tyra Banks? Give it the program, yeah. ladies. Oh, God, that's such a good that's question. What she said. Okay, all right. Uh, number two, which hip-hop artist spent Cinco de Mayo at the White House? Mm -hmm. Okay. Was that Pharrell Williams, Ice Cube, Jay-Z, or Russell Simmons? He spent Cinco de Mayo at the White House, hung out with the president, chilling, hanging out, taking pictures. Uh, Was what, that what, what are those guys doing at Cinco de Mayo? I mean, <laughs> what the hell? Why isn't, you know, Rico so Suave there? I'm <laughs> sure somebody else had to be there, but as far as... A random hip hop guy there, Pharrell, Ice Cube, Jay Z, or Russell Simmons. All right. By the way, Rico Suave is from Puerto Rico and would have nothing to do with Cinco de Mayo. But I think you see my point. Kind of. Okay. You know what? I'd be dominating in Who's Down with Aces. All right. And, and question number three: Which NBA star's wife is suing Gabrielle Union for quote ruining her marriage? Oh. Um, is it the wife of Jason Kidd, Paul Pierce? Dwayne Wade or Vince Carter? She's suing Gabrielle Union. Mm, I already wrote it down before you even gave me the oh, All right, give options. me the options again. Jason Kidd, Paul Pierce, Dwayne Wade, or Vince Carter? All right, I have my answers. God, I hope I get lucky. <laughs> okay, here's the situation. First of all, I'll be honest with you. Uh, this time around, I went with the big names, okay? Mm -hmm. I didn't try to get cute and play, you know, patty cakes with... Uh, uh, you know, Regina Kings of the world, okay? Although I was tempted to. I was so tempted to go with Regina for the first question. But who said uh, people need to get, uh, uh, African-American women need to get with it and uh, start dating outside their race? That's got to be Ty Ty, doesn't it? I mean, it sounds like exactly like something Ty Ty would say. Right. And she doesn't mind being controversial, etc. I'm sure she's dated outside her race. I'm going Tyra Banks. I'm going to go with Queen Latifah. For me, I could totally uh, envision Queen Latifah saying that. And really? Also, queen Latifah is like strong African-American queen. I yeah, say that. but she's also, she's probably making her rounds of interviews to promote that new movie, Just Right. Oh, that's a good mm. point. That's interesting. All right, let's see how it turned out. Oh, it is Miss Regina King. Oh! Damn it! That was my, <laughs> it's always my second. Voice of Huey. And Riley from the Boondocks. You want to know what makes me so mad about this? I wrote Regina King, and then I crossed it out because I thought the same way Jenk did. I'm like, I, I'm not going to mess around with the little names. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. So, so here, here's our quote from Vibe magazine, little details on it. Uh, of all groups of people, black women are the least likely group of women that will date outside of their race. When you have everyone else who's willing to explore, but a black woman is like, I want me a brother. Well, if the brothers are out and they're open to date everybody and the majority of black women aren't willing to look twice when a man outside of their race is sending them messages, then that makes our percentage rate lower and the chances of finding love because we're the only one, we're, the, we're looking in one specific place for finding love with black men. Uh, by the way, she's only a million percent right. Why is this an obligation only for uh, black people, right, that they got to date within their race? I mean, nobody ever said to me, you got to date within your own, you know, olive race. Mm -hmm. Okay, no, I, why shouldn't I date a Persian girl and an Indian girl and a Chinese girl and a black girl and a white girl? Why shouldn't I? 
why should anybody be limited at all? Uh, to me, it's like a no-brainer. Should you be open to dating white guys or Asian guys or Hindu guys? Of course! Have at it, Hoss! So do you, I'm not sure. Do you think it's like a pressure thing for black women to have to? Or is it they're, they're so hell-bent on that's their type of man? They're like, I don't want to go outside of it. Uh, no, I think it's a societal, cultural pressure thing. Nobody's pressuring black women to stay within a race. Who? Really? Who is? Well, I mean, black obviously, men? no, but obviously she feels that kind of pressure that she had to put that quote out there, and I don't think that's a No, first. she's just saying they need to stop thinking that within themselves and try other things, because I think, she, she thinks at least, this is what I'm taking her as saying, she thinks a lot of black women are like, only, only a black man, only a black man, because that's all I want, and she's, mm. they need to open up their mind a little bit. All right, okay. All right, let's uh, go to question number two. Number two, uh, which one of these guys spent Cinco de Mayo at the White House? All right, again, I went with the big names. I know Obama and Jay-Z have hung out before, so I didn't want to get cute here because getting cute usually costs me. So I said, like, since they're buds, I, I bet he had Jay-Z over. And, you know, he likes to play it safe, Obama does. I mean, if he brings in a little guy and then it turns out that guy said something in a rap song and then Rush Limbaugh gets on him, etc., Jay-Z's safer, so he went with Jay-Z. I went with Jay-Z as well. Oh, or for two both ways. It was Pharrell, Damn. man. Oh, Damn it, really? Pharrell? Pharrell. Man. That would have been my last guess. Where has Pharrell been? What the, yeah. That is a funny It's a very funny picture. picture. I, love, I love that picture. <laughs> this is me with Pharrell. <laughs> this is me at the White House. <laughs> yeah, Pharrell's Farrell's hobnobbing, man. He's bigger than we think. Apparently so. All right, get it, get it. Is so, Pharrell like a Mexican somehow? Or? <laughs> so we're uh, we're scoreless. I still don't get the Cinco de Mayo angle. I just don't get it. Nah, it, it's, right. it was probably a big celebration. He's like, I'm going. Yeah. If, he, if he had the opportunity, I would go. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. No, no. I, he, hey, uh, President Obama, you can invite me any day you like. Uh, St. Patty's Day, Cinco de Mayo, French <laughs> Leather Ice Home Day, Bastille Day, any day you like. Okay, I'm in. So um, third question, it, it appears that Anna, as she should, knows this stuff and um, just might have it. So you've got to get lucky, homeboy. Oh, boy. All right. Look, I, again, I went with the standard here, and apparently this guy's throwing nothing but curveballs today. Uh, but we know Dwayne Wade is getting divorced. We know it's ugly. We know that there's allegations back and forth. Uh, and so I imagine if anybody's going to get like sued about Gabrielle Union, put it out there, et cetera, that it's going to be Dwayne Wade's crazy wife. Okay, we're tied. It was Dwayne Wade. No, all right. At least I got one. All right. Uh, Dwayne Wade rolling. That is uh, not Dwayne Wade. Dwayne Wade <laughs> roll, rolling in a uh, rolling in South Beach with Gabrielle Union. Okay. Yeah, man. Uh, you know what I would do if I was Dwayne Wade? Uh, the same exact thing. So. Check out some of the details. I love some of the things. from. You probably know this. Mm -hmm. um, we didn't do this, did we? We didn't do the story. Okay. It almost made it in the rundown. <laughs> oh, so she already knew. But that's all right. That's all right. Yeah, yeah. You're supposed to know. Um, so she claims that Gabrielle Union engaged in sexual foreplay with Dwayne Wade in front of Wade's 8-year-old and 2-year-old sons while on an unsupervised visitation uh, to his house. And then on one visitation, he, Wade, she says, allegedly orchestrated a meeting between her and the boys where he introduced... He introduced the actress to his girlfriend uh, to, and said, this is my girlfriend. This is why your mom and I are going to divorce. Oh, I don't believe that at all. If I was a judge, I'd throw that out. Unless you got overwhelming evidence. That, that chick is kind of crazy, man. Dwayne Wade's uh, wife, who's, they're getting a divorce now. I mean, allegations are through. They didn't do sexual foreplay in front of the kids. <laughs> I mean, you got to have that on videotape for me to believe you. Yeah, and she's looking for money from... From Gabrielle Union. Oh, yeah. Come, 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 come. Why is she looking for money from Gabrielle Union? Why does she, she has possibly money. owe her anything? Because Dwayne Wade doesn't have enough money for her to take. So she's got to go take Gabrielle Union's money, too. The second, my second most favorite part of this, I'm sorry. The older child has sought medical treatment for stress and anxiety because he's developed nervous habits, experienced headaches, and is generally anxious to the point of significant hair loss causing bald spots. It's all according to the lawsuit. Uh, the boy is currently seeking court-mandated mental evaluations at the University of Chicago because he's been screwed up by his father. As much. <laughs> oh my God! My father's dating a really hot actress, and he was she was introduced as his girlfriend. Oh my God! Get me to a day. What's the chances that the kid asked to go to the University of Chicago for psychological counseling? <laughs> okay. Oh come on. This stuff is nonsense. No, not buying it. Not even close. All right. Do we have? Uh, so we have to go through tiebreaker, man. It's tied at one. Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. So as we know, Cypress Hill released their, their latest album on 420. Come on. That makes sense. Uh, and it's called Rise Up. Which album number is this? 
Oh. The, ne- the nearest to the album number they've done without going over. Let's do Price is Right style. Mm, without going over. Without going over, man, because Cypress Hill's been around for a little minute now. How many albums have they had out? This is a disaster. I know nothing about Cypress Hill. You don't have to know anything about, well, I guess you have to know something about no, Cypress No, no, it doesn't really help. I know a lot about Cypress Hill, but it doesn't help at all. Because, like, you remember Cypress Hill, that's one of their albums, is the one I listened to approximately 487 times, mm-hmm. right? Uh, now, but that doesn't really help me because how many albums do they have? I have no freaking idea. Like JR said, they've been around forever. I don't know. Is it 29? Is it 3? Is it 211? That's what you should guess. Just think about it. Think about it, okay? Uh, I'm All thinking right. about it right now. All right, I'm going to put down a number. Me too. Okay, I've got a number. Me too. Go. It's on you guys, man. All right, uh, I want your number first. Eight. Oh, you went eight. Eight. Oh, that's interesting. I went seven. Ooh. Oh. oh. Wow. Uh. That's kind of messed up. Because was... you threw out a slight clue there, although you love to play head games with us, uh-huh. about, oh, they've been around a long time. Like, oh, guess high, guess high, but it's actually not that high. It's actually only seven. <laughs> All right, let's see what you got. The streak continues. No. <gasps> yeah, yeah. Oh, it feels good every time. Every time. But you don't know anything. How many albums? Eight albums. Eight. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> like the, the full length type of albums. Not like, you know, you maybe have your compilations or stuff. Like, you know, new release type of albums. Oh, uh, well, you know, but I wasn't counting that one that they had earlier or something. <laughs> Damn it! It's a good day. Uh, okay. And does Cypress Seal even count? Are, are Cypress Hill black? <laughs> I mean, they're more Latino, aren't they? I, I want to disqualify her here. <laughs> okay, I want to recount. Hey, you know, the, um, but the black culture uh, started hip hop. Ah, uh, kind of weak sauce, if you ask me. Okay. I can have Eminem <laughs> in some of these questions. Uh, can you? Uh, he does hip hop. All right, I'm, I'm going to take this to the Supreme Court. Okay. Oh, what a hater. Uh, I'm, I'm just waiting for Elena Kagan to get on because I think she's going to be on my side. How many have I won in so far in a row? Like, it's now becoming a little depressing. <laughs> okay. I, I, I'm gonna, I swear I'm going to study up, man. Now you're getting under my skin. Okay. <laughs> All right. Next time, I'm coming for her. Although, you should treat my threats as completely empty. So, so far, I have not come for her at all. I've stayed exactly where I am. 